Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how to use an optical microscope to look at cells on a prepared microscope slide. And this is a required practical so it's important that you learn the details. This could come up in the exam as a six mark essay question. Okay I'm showing you here an optical microscope and you should have used one of these at school. Now I should point out that some optical microscopes are slightly different to this and I'll discuss that in a minute. I'm going to take you through the important part of the optical microscope and then we'll discuss how to use it to view a microscope slide. And again you need to learn the names of the different parts. The centre of the microscope has a stage. This is where we place the microscope slide. The stage has clips to hold the slide in place. Below the stage there's a lamp. Light from the lamp passes up through the microscope slide. Now as I said before some optical microscopes are slightly different to this. Rather than having a lamp, these microscopes have a mirror beneath the stage. The mirror is used to reflect light up through the microscope slide. OK, above the stage we've got a set of lenses. These are called the objective lenses. Most microscopes have got three different objective lenses. These usually have a magnification of 4 times, 10 times or 40 times. At the top of the microscope we've got the eyepiece and this is where we look through. The eyepiece contains the eyepiece lens and that's got a magnification of 10 times. The final parts of the microscope are the coarse focusing dial and the fine focusing dial and we'll be discussing how to use these later. OK, so we're going to look now at how to use an optical microscope to view a prepared slide. First we place the slide onto the stage and use the clips to hold the slide in place. We then select the lowest power objective lens. This is usually four times. We need to position the objective lens so it almost touches the microscope slide. To do that we slowly turn the coarse focusing dial. Now it's really important that we look at the microscope from the side while we adjust the position of the objective lens. When the objective lens almost touches the slide we stop turning the dial. If we look through the eyepiece while positioning the objective lens there's a risk that we damage the slide. OK, at this stage we look down through the eyepiece. Now we need to slowly turn the coarse focusing dial. This increases the distance between the objective lens and the slide. We do this until the cells come into focus. At this stage we use the fine focusing dial to bring the cells into a clear focus. OK, now to calculate the total magnification we multiply the magnification of the eyepiece lens by the magnification of the objective lens. The eyepiece lens has a magnification of 10 times and the low power objective lens has a magnification of 4 times. Multiplying 10 by 4 gives a total magnification of 40 times. At this point we can select a higher power objective lens, for example 10 times. Again we'll need to adjust the fine focusing dial to bring the cells back into focus. So if we're looking at animal cells we should see something like this. I should point out that this will depend on the type of animal cell on the slide. At this stage we can use a pencil to make a clear label drawing of some of the cells. Now using an optical microscope we can only see limited detail. We can see the nucleus, the cytoplasm and the cell membrane. And these tiny flecks may be mitochondria. However we definitely cannot see ribosomes. If we look at plant cells we might see something like these. But again this depends on the type of plant cells on the slide. Under the light microscope we should be able to see the cell wall, the cytoplasm and the nucleus. We may also be able to see the vacuole and the chloroplasts. Now on your drawing you should also include a magnification scale. To do this we place a clear plastic ruler over the stage and we measure the diameter of the field of view in millimetres. Then we show this on our drawing using a scale bar. You should also write the magnification, for example 100 times. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on this required practical in my vision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above.